Welcome to the module on uh, basics of uh, material testing. Today we will be covering uh, the different tests which are applicable for uh, door shutters as per IS 4020 part 1 to part 16. So in this uh, each part is consists of uh, one type of test and each type of test we will be discussing in detail in this module. So the first part is uh, measurement of dimensions and squareness uh, as detailed in uh, IS 4020 part 2. The first part is measurement of uh, height. So measurement of height uh, is uh, along the line uh, AA and BB as uh, shown in the pho photograph which will be shown in the upcoming slides where each of which is parallel to and 20 millimeters or less from a longitudinal edge. So this is the location where you can check the height of the door. The height shall be measured with an accuracy of 1 millimeters. Similarly, a measurement of width, measurement of width will be along the line CC and DD. One is in the bottom and the other one is in the top as shown in the photograph each of which is uh, parallel to and 20 millimeters or less uh, from the transverse edges as uh, shown in the photograph. The width uh, shall be measured uh, again to an accuracy of uh, 1 millimeters. And then the measurement of uh, thickness, if you see, the thickness is being measured at uh, 6, which are located approximately 20 millimeters uh, from the edges at the middle of uh, the width of the door shutters and edge each one third point of the height as shown in the photograph. So you see the photograph, it is clearly indicated that in a door shutter, you have four lines. One is line AA, which is in the longer direction and the line BB, which is in the longer direction where you measure the length and then the width is being measured on the shorter direction that is section CC and DD which is there on the top and the bottom and then the thickness is being measured at uh, six points two each on the vertical faces and uh, one in the bottom and the other one is on the top. So this is how the dimensions uh, are being checked as far as the door shutters are concerned for the requirement and the accuracies. Now coming to the measurement of uh, squareness uh, the that it determines the deviation from the squareness of the adjacent edges of a door shutters at all the four corners of the door leaf with a square arms 500 millimeters long as shown in the photograph. The deviation from the squareness shall be measured to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters. So this is the line which is being uh, measured like you have a rectangle of uh, 500 millimeters long and it is being uh, placed on all the four corners to check the deviation as far as the squareness of uh, the dimensions of door shutters is concerned. Coming to the part three which talks about the twist in the door shutter. The measurement of twist if you see the door shutter is held freely in a vertical plane or mounted vertically so that there is no external restraint. Any three corners of this face determines a plane of reference as shown in the photograph on the right hand side of the slide. Now the, de the deviation of the fourth corner is measured with respect to this plane using a plumb bob or any other suitable device to check the accuracy in terms of uh, the perpendicularity of the door shutter, which in other ways is called the twist of the edges of the four edges. Now, one edge is being measured with reference to the three edges. The measuring point shall not be more than 20 millimeters from the edges. It shall be measured to an accuracy of one millimeters. Similarly, measurement of warping and cupping, if you see, uh, like uh, it should not make a form of a cup as shown in the figures. The door shutter is held as given in the figure. Measurements of warping and cupping on one of the faces of the door shutters is measured with respect to the straight lines parallel to each edge 
and located 20 millimeters or less uh, from the edges. The distance of the faces from these straight lines is measured as shown in the photograph. The deviation shall be measured to an accuracy of uh, 1 millimeters. So the measurement is always uh, 20 millimeters inside from the face of uh, the doors, uh, whether it is a measurement of dimensions or twist or warping and cupping. So it cannot be on the edges, rather it has to be 20 millimeters all around inside the space from the edges. The fourth part which talks about the local plainness uh, test of the door shutters. The door shutters uh, shall be positioned or held freely in placed in a horizontal or convenient position. Squares of uh, 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters shall be drawn spread over the entire area of the shutter for measurement purposes. A suitable measuring device suitably fixed at the center of a straight edge of 150 mm length shall be placed on 10 different squares on the face of the door shutters. The depth at each point shall be measured to an accuracy of 0.1 mm. So this is how the plainness, the local plainness, the local undulation of the door shutter can be checked. So if you have a door shutter of say 1 meter by 3 meters then you need to divide it into squares of 200 by 200 and then locally you check the deviation to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters. Coming to the impact indentation uh, test which is being covered in part 5 of uh, IS uh, 4020 the door shutters shall be placed horizontally resting on a suitable frame equally on all four edges. A steel ball of about 50 millimeters diameter in weight 500 plus minus 10 grams is allowed to fall freely from a height of 750 plus minus 5 millimeters at any randomly selected 10 different points on both the surface of the door shutters leaving distance of 75 millimeters from the edges. Now the depth of indentation needs to be measured to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters. So this is how the impact of uh, indentation of uh, steel balls of diameter 50 millimeters and uh, weighing 500 grams uh, falling from a height of uh, 750 millimeters is being uh, recorded on the wooden door shutters. Coming to the part 6 uh, which talks about the flexor test, how to measure the flexor test. The door shutters shall be held firmly along one long edge and the adjacent short edge and it shall be ensured that the three fixed corners are in one horizontal plane. Loading shall be done on the top corner of the door shutters 50 millimeters from the free edge resulting deformation in the vertical plane of the door shutters. The loading shall be done in steps of 100 newtons up to a maximum of 500 newtons and unloaded after 15 minutes in the same way. The deflection shall be measured initially and after 15 minutes with the load and finally after 3 minutes of the removal of the load. So why after 3 minutes of a removal of load? That means we are checking basically the capacity to come back to its original position because of the loading of 100 to 500 kilonewtons. So how much the shutters are being bent because of the loading applications. All deflections of three corners shall be measured to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters with reference to the diagonally opposite fixed corners. Coming to the edge loading test that is being covered in part 7, how do you record the edge loading test or how do you record the observations in the edge loading test? The door shutters shall be hung vertically bearing or with 12 mm dia pivot supported at the top and bottom or hinged on one longitudinal edge. The load shall be applied on the top of the other longitudinal edge parallel to the plane of the door shutter at a distance of 25 plus minus 5 millimeters from the edges. The loading shall be done in the steps of not more than 200 newtons at a time until a load of 1000 newtons is reached and kept constant for a period of 15 minutes. 
the deflection at the loaded edge at the end of 15 minutes is being recorded. The deflection shall also be measured three minutes after the removal of the load to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters. So this will give the deflection in terms of edge loading as described in part seven of IS 4020. Shock resistance test, which is basically covered in two parts. One is a soft and light body impact or soft and hard body impact. Now, in this particular part eight of IS4080, first we will cover the soft and light body impact. The door shutters shall be hinged in a vertical plane flushed with a fixed frame. The rope with a leather ball of approximately 200 millimeters in diameter and containing 50 newtons or 5 kg force of sand hung vertically by a rope required for giving the shock. The rope with the leather ball shall be tied on the central vertical line just above the door. The length of the rope shall be such that the ball may strike the door at a point 200 plus minus 10 millimeters above the bottom end of the vertical center line of the door as shown in the figure. The ball shall be pulled away from the door to a height of 1.25 meters from the plane of a striking place and shall be allowed to strike the door for 25 times at a rate of 4 to 5 shocks per minute. So this is the typical arrangement of the test. The impact has to be 200 plus minus 10 millimeters from the bottom. The height of a drop should be 1.25 uh, meters from the plane of striking. And then the weight of the sandbag shall be around 5 kgs. In. So this has to be repeated 4 to 5 times in a minute and 25 strikes has to be kept in order to understand what is the shock resistance capacity of the wooden door shutters which are being placed in the area. Now coming to the soft and heavy body impact, similar elements of mounting the door shutters as specified in the soft and light body impact is made. A spherical leather sailcloth bag of approximately 350 millimeters in diameter is filled with sand until it reaches a mass of 300 newtons or 30 kg force. The bag shall be hung as a pendulum arrangement to strike the door shutter at a level of the handle in the position shown and hung in such a way that when at rest the bag just touches the shutter as shown in the photograph. The normally hung shutter with hangings, fixings and fastenings is given five impacts of spherical leather ball, spherical leather bag at the handle level on both the sides of the shutter. Now earlier test was at the bottom of the handle levels uh, from the bottom of the door shutter around 200 uh, millimeters above the bottom and now this heavy body impact test is being conducted at the door handle level. So this is the photograph shown for shock resistance test where instead of 5 kgs we are using 30 kgs of sandbag and having a impact at the door level as shown in the photograph. Now coming to the next part which is part 9 which we talk about the buckling resistance test. The door shutter shall be placed in a rigid rig and fixed in a way similar to the actual installations. The door shutter shall be opened to an angle of 90 plus minus 5 degrees and secured at its top free corner to prevent any lateral movement. A typical method of attachment of the load and its location is shown in figure for guidance. A load of 400 newtons is applied at 1000 plus minus 5 millimeters from the bottom of the door at right angles to the plane of the door shutter and in the direction of the opening in increments of 100 newtons each. So incremental load is applied only after stabilization of the deformations created by the previous loading. 
The deformation of uh, the lower free corner is measured to an accuracy of 1 mm in 5 minutes after the application of the load and 15 minutes after unloading. So this will have an impact of buckling resistance as far as the shutters are concerned which are being placed as a door shutters. We are talking about the wooden door shutters uh, buckling resistance as described in IS 4020 part 9. Slamming test. The, again, in the slamming test category, you have two tests, test 1 and test 2. Either of the tests can be used, which is being described in part 10 of uh, IS 4020. Now coming to the test 1, which is suitable fixtures uh, shall be made to hold the door shutter horizontally flat and hinged on one long edge and resting freely on a wooden rail 50 millimeters from the other long edge. The door shutter shall be placed in a horizontal position suitably hinged at three equidistant places or at the discretion of the manufacturers on one of the long edges. The other edge is lifted up so as to form an angle of not less than 30 degrees at the hinge edge and allowed to drop under its own weight 50 times on the rail at a rate of 4 to 5 drops per minute. Second test is door shutters shall be hung with three hinges vertically on one longer edges or as per the manufacturer's instruction in a suitable frame. Suitable arrangements to apply a force of 150 newtons to the shutter at not more than 150 millimeters from the locking edges of the shutters shall be made. The force shall act perpendicularly to the plane of the frame throughout the closing moment as shown in the photograph. The door shutters shall be opened at an angle of 60 plus minus 5 degrees and shall be made to close for 100 times by the continuous application of a force of 150 newtons which ceases to act at the moment of impact. So this is the typical arrangement of uh, the slamming test uh, as described in IS 4020 part 10. So coming to the misuse test which is being described clearly in part 11. Suitable frame to hold the door vertically in a manner similar to its installation in practice shall be made. The door shutter shall be hinged on one long edge to the frame as shown in the photograph. A hard wood slip such as laurel, sol, bija sol of 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters and of thickness adequate to match the thickness of the door shutter shall be placed vertically at the bottom of the hinged style of the frame in such a way as to keep the door at 70 plus minus 5 degrees the opening space. This means this is the key which is being used to keep the door open at an angle of 70 plus minus 5 degrees. The force is applied progressively to the handle or equivalent positions and at right angles to the plane of the frame in the direction of closing until it reaches 200 newtons. So this will have an indication on how the door shutter is resisting in case of a misuse of the door openings. Varying humidity test which is being covered under part 12. The door shutter shall be placed in a conditioning chamber at a temperature 27 plus minus 2 degrees centigrade and humidity maintained at 30 plus minus 5 percent for one week. The height, width, thickness as per the part 2 of this standard and diagonals of the door shutters shall then be measured. Then the humidity shall be raised to 85 plus minus 5 percent and the door shutter shall remain there again for one week. The length, breadth, thickness and diagonal of the door shutters shall be measured. The changes in the above dimension shall be noted. After this, the door shutter shall be kept inside the chamber for one week at a humidity level of 30 plus minus 5 percent. The dimensions shall be measured again after the end of the period and the extent of a return of the original sizes shall be calculated. General plainness of the door shutters shall be measured as a part three of this standard. Under part 13, uh, 
and immersion test is being described the door shutters shall be immersed to a minimum depth of 300 mm in water at an ambient temperature of 20 at an ambient temperature for 24 hours and then allowed to dry for 24 hours at ambient temperatures this cycle shall be repeated eight times the door shutters shall be examined for any delamination in the immersed portion of the shutters knife test as covered in part 14 the type of knife required to be used in the test is given in figure the knife of this can be made from a wooden file like 250 by 25 millimeters file the cutting edge should be kept chisel sharp the test shall be carried out on a stout table to which is screwed a wooden batten against which the edge of the specimen is placed as indicated in figure the knife is inserted with its cutting edge parallel to the grain of the outer veneer and worked into or if possible along the glue lines and the veneer is pressed upwards so this is the knife which is being used in order to test the door shutter for knife test it is essential that the knife be firmly guided along the glue line the two square sections 150 by 150 shall be cut from the corners of the door shutter this is required for the glue addition test as described in IS 4020 of part 15 these corner sections as cut from the door shutters shall be submerged in a pan of water at an ambient temperature care shall be taken that the pieces do not touch the bottom of the pan the water shall then be brought to the boiling temperature and maintained at this temperature for four hours and then dried in a chamber at 27 plus minus 2 degrees centigrade and a relative humidity of 65 plus minus 5 percent for 24 hours at the end of the drying period the samples shall be examined for delamination glue lines in all the four exposed edges of the plywood on both the faces of specimens and the glue lines between the plywood faces and the style and rail shall be examined for delamination similarly screw withdrawal resistance test is being described in part 16 of is 4020 this test shall be carried out on three test specimens of size 150 millimeters by 75 millimeters cut along the longitudinal edge of upper or lower half portion of the door shutters using a suitable test equipment having an arrangement to pull the screws fixed on the specimen so as to measure the maximum load required to complete the withdrawal prior to testing the test specimen shall be conditioned at 27 plus minus 2 degree centigrade and at a relative humidity of 65 plus minus 5 percent for a week so under this uh, screw withdrawal resistance test two pre-bores of 3 millimeter diameters shall be made along the style at an interval of 50 millimeters on the face and along the edges of the specimen screws of number 8 and 50 millimeter length as described in IS 6760 shall be fixed at these points to a depth of 25 millimeters the specimen shall then be placed on the test equipment and the load is applied at the specified rate of 2 millimeters per minute for withdrawal of one screw at a time maximum load required for complete withdrawal shall be noted in each case so to summarize this module uh, we have discussed about the different types of test one can have on the door shutters as described in is 4020 how the observations needs to be recorded what are the different types of tests which we can do like a dimension test impact intention test flexure test edge loading test shock resistance test misuse test knife test and glue test are some of the tests which have been described in detail in this particular module